I've seen some videos from India where they're like tossing the dosa up in the air to catch it. What do you think about that? Would you ever do something like that? No, oh, I do my own style. I don't copy nobody. This man is original here. Bro, Yo, come on. Come on, take some pop. No, I'm good. Bro. First and foremost, his name is not Jazz. That's not an Indian name. What's your real name? Steve. See? Man's out in Brampton. Man's is out in Brampton. It's a Brampton thing. What's going on everybody? It is a beautiful New York day. It feels like the summertime. And of course we had to do an Indian food call again. Come back for part two. We got Jazz. What's up guys? My name is Jazz. I'm from Queens and my parents are from Punjab. We are going on a crazy Indian journey in this video. We're starting off at the most famous street cart over here at Washington Square Park, NY Dosas. And then we're gonna be hitting up a 24 hour legendary Punjabi cafeteria. And then the last spot is going to be a modern Indian spot that just opened that is serving very obscure but delicious and authentic Indian dishes. Let's go. These Vessi sneakers are the best waterproof sneaker ever made. Guys, big shout out to our sponsor, Vessi Footwear. They are making the most comfortable, waterproof sneakers ever made. I'm not talking about water resistant, not Gore-Tex boots, really comfortable sneakers. That is the patented Dymatex material, guys. I mean, we were stepping in puddles, there was hail, sleet, snow. This is completely waterproof. So that actually allows you to move from like the office to the gym to, you know, just doing errands outside. And I really think that that's the point of athleisure. Of course, you guys know that we love sneakers, streetwear, you know, hype stuff. But on the other end, I have a deep appreciation for this, you know, simple clean style too. If you guys are interested in Vessi footwear, go to Vessi.com and use our code for $25 off. And if you guys are interested in this style of shoe, if you got the outfits to go with it and you just need something that's gonna last. And if you do need to clean these, they're as easy as running them under the sink or just throwing them into the wash. You can simplify your life. Check out Vessi.com and use our code for $25 off. Peace. I'm making first the, the special pondicherry for you. Because after that, I have everything gonna be off the menu. Okay, okay. okay. That's a, like special off the menu. I'm gonna mix wow. it up now. Hey, hey, you know who See, this is a French spot. Yeah. from Sri Lanka is MIA. Yeah, I know. She's from my hometown, Jaffna. This is the very special Pondicherry dosa. Oh right, my man. goodness, man. Yo, this looks good. good. Guys, the Pondicherry, it has coconut chutney with sambar. Pondicherry, sold out. It's like a little spicy, very coconutty, very fragrant. I've never had anything like um, this. NYC doses, man. This is one of the best doses I've ever had. All right, you guys, we are looking at an incredibly rare snack right now called Joff Milan. He said this is off the menu, but it is a real authentic Indian snack. This is the only spot in New York that you can get this at. So it has like dried coconut, it has like the wet coconut. Would you say that this is more South Indian due to the coconut? Yes, 100%. Joff Milan. I love trying things that I've never had before. The crepe was something new to me. Yeah, it's such an airy feeling. Yeah, and I think grabbing the coconut, to me, that was like a whole nother thing. Yeah. Treating the coconut like the protein. Yeah. Treating the coconut like the protein. All right, guys, this is the uttapam. Scorching hot, and this is a large-ass onion right here. Wow, that's like a vegetable oh, pancake. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a filled veggie pancake. Oh, okay. man, let me get in this too, Oh, man. my you hands got, are burning. Got, oh, oh, it's hot. It's hot, hot. It's yeah, hot, yeah, yeah. hot. Yeah, go ha, for ha. it, go for it. Oh, hot, hot. No, you gotta go. That's what they would call a hot. Cake. Oh my goodness. You know what it is, man? Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Searing hot utapam. More hearty, the more vegetable-y, but I was more with the uh, coconut joint. The coconut. Pretty All right, you guys, that does it for NYC Doses, man. We got my man Sri Lanka cooking South Indian treats. Some more mainstream, some less known, but we got to go to something that you know very well. 
I'm going to Punjabi Deli in the Lower East Side. My people's food is so good, 24 hours a day. People have talked about this spot. Now students I've talked to and also every like Uber, Lyft driver I've talked to, they said go to Punjab Grocery. It's a go-to spot. All right. It's a go-to spot, 24 hours a day. Let's head down there. All right, you guys, we are on 114 East Houston and this place is legendary, so legendary. I cannot even encapsulate how legendary it is. Tell us about it, man. Yo, this place is be open 24 hours, well known in the Punjabi community. I was part of the 1 a.m. crowd before. All I remember was just shoveling something into my mouth. I don't remember exactly what it was. Wait. What? You know, we could not cover this without the help of another Indian comedian friend, man. We got Vivek. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was barely invited. I'm just here to continue my feud from last video. Oh, man. They're tearing us apart. That's what they're doing. They're tearing us apart. We are continuing our uh, north, south, south, north Indian beef. I know you're South Indian, but obviously all Indians come yeah, here, right? I think that, like a lot of the core ingredients are the same anyway, right? Yeah. So like, it doesn't really matter at some point. I remember the last video, South Indians do not really eat that much meat, right? Yeah, that's true. And North Indians are famous for eating. We're eating a lot of chicken. A lot of chicken, a lot of goat, a lot of lamb. Beef, definitely not, but here's pretty much all vegetarian. Even though we both eat meat, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, I love beef. Cut that's that my part favorite out. cut, oh, yeah. yeah. cut that part, I do, yeah. For some reason, I thought you were like a... You couldn't eat anything. Vegan. Yeah, I'm just finding out that my friends know nothing about it. Right? Like, <laughs> there are some wild theories too about it too. It's like, it's just food items. Yeah. It's nothing religious Yeah, either. someone like linked it to like the caste system at one in one really? of the videos and I was like, bro, like... All right, you guys, let's Drop check it out. Good. All right, you guys, this is the hall for Punjabi Grocery, man. And he said something really dope to you, right, as we were yeah. leaving. What did, what did he say? Yeah, man, he asked where Andrew was from. I'm like, yeah, he's, he's Chinese. He's like, oh, it's such a beautiful thing. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, to see uh, Chinese and Indians come together. I'm like, yeah, man, like the way we grew up is so similar. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, he's like, oh, it's so, it's so beautiful to see Indian Chinese people come together, and especially around this time. For sure. I mean, there's so much going on in the world, but yeah. we're here in America, and I think that that's... And that's what we want America to be, right? Yeah. This is like the so ideal of what you want it to this be. This is what America is should be. be. Yeah. And parts of it are. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what are we looking at, guys? Yo. All right, I'll start. So we got samosas here. Yeah. I think most people probably know what that is, right? That's like the most common fried Indian potato basic. snack. It is basic, but for a good reason. Yeah, I got the chana masala, curry, and then I got the sog, spicy spinach. Hey, Andrew, why don't you get started, man, and then just go, go with some roti. Yeah, we all got to get a roti, right? Hey, David, why don't you eat a pakora? Because you're excited about these. Pakora. pakora. Usually when you go to a temple, you get these. But well, this is unbelievable. Oh, that's a high-end temple, bro. You know that? That's a high-end temple. No, I've never, like, I feel like whenever oh, I've gone to the dude, temple. Dude, every time, yo, ask the guys inside. Like, yo, we go to the temples all the time then. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. This is, this is the start. What, what are you getting at temple? Like, just rice and dal and that's nah, it. No, that's big. <laughs> that's like, that's you what need you need to go, you don't need to go to Punjabi <laughs> temple, they, <laughs> We, Yo, we go to an ascetic temple. They yeah, don't want to yeah. enjoy things. You're you know. focused on, are, on God. Are man. you trying to say the Punjabi temples are more lit? Oh yeah, we have, we have buffets. <laughs> we have buffets. All right, you all guys. Right. I got the roti. I've never done this before. I'm gonna go in and what? It's all good, mixed together. All mixed. I mean, I would go one by one. One, one by one. One by so one. I'm gonna go with my favorite first. Roti. roti. Yeah, I noticed that we made ours more look like Taco Bell soft oh, tacos, yeah, exactly. and your <laughs> joint was more like official, like you the know way what you're supposed like, to do it. Like that Taco Mahal. Oh. Oh, that's good. The Punjabi eggplant was super creamy, man, right here. Creamy and dreamy. All right, you guys, this is our final round here at Punjab Grocery. I'm getting this aloo tiki. You said it perfectly. Yo, this is good. I didn't even need the sauce. I gave the aloo tiki a five out of five. How do we say five in, in either Punjabi or, or Hindi? Dude, I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. me. <laughs> no, 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 don't put that in. Hey, this guy's a great big phony. Come get the aloo tiki at Punjab Grocery. Five out of five. This is one of my favorite sweets. It's called Bison. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just sweet and fire. That's it. Ooh, yeah. So if you are lactose intolerant and you're Indian, does that limit a lot of it food? It does, yeah. If you're lactose intolerant and you're Indian, then you should not eat anything. <laughs> Bison. Bison. Holy shit. Does oh, this not taste kind of like the middle of a moon cake? No. It does. All right, guys, we are headed now after exploring two New York Manhattan Indian classics, one from South India, one from North India, the samosas, the Punjabi grocery. Now we are headed to a brand new mind-blowing concept, Damaka. So there's a chef and he gathered a lot of like little known dishes from all around India and combined them in one spot. All right, so we are here with the chef and co-owner Chintin. Yeah. You have an amazing spot. Can Thank you tell you. us about it? The Damaka literally means to blast. You know, like when you say, let's have a blast, we actually travel across America to understand Indian food and to know why Indian food is not going forward and it's very stagnated. And that's what, you know, told us that how do we take this cuisine more and more forward? New York City is the only city where this concept can work. 
the people over here all ethnicity all religion are people who want to have newer outlook to every cuisine not only indian cuisine you look at any other food you look at chinese food you look korean food the kind of what is spectrum or the kind of variations that you have in these foods in new york city you won't find it anywhere all right you guys we are looking at this exotic spread here i've never had any of these foods have you guys yeah. no yeah, yeah. Other than the uh, i want to get into this food because this looks like some indian food i've never seen before it looks to me more southeast asian mixed sure. with indian even though he said it was from all over the place right like just the most obscure places all across the so country. then he was like northeastern yeah exactly. dominantly northeastern so your guys' minds are blown right now my minds are blown david we guys. gotta go with the craziest dish we have the goat testicles. I think I'm holding two right here in this spoon. Are, which is good. And, we're, is good. and we're, we're supposed to eat it with the palm. We got the pav buns. They are topped with some goat intestines in curry with the goat testicles. Let's go in for it. I might get some Indian points for this. It just tastes like the beef ball and hot pot. The testicles, they don't taste like testicles. They just almost taste kind of like some type of kidney minus the iron. Best testicles I've ever had. All right, this next dish is their premier dish. It's a kind of fresh garlic clove lamb stew. The lamb is marinated for 30 hours. It takes five hours to cook this dish. Let's go in on it. I'm just going to try this big piece of garlic right here. This is Indian food I've never had before. Mm. I and this is like authentic regional cuisine. This is a presentation yeah. I've never seen before, man. It's like, Ooh. oh my lord. So this is a lamb rib and goat belly seek kebab. Goat, goat belly. Oh yeah. Mm. That's the best one. I yeah. think a lot of people are used to eating pork belly at like Korean barbecue. Yeah. Goat belly. That's better. That was a really good kebab. It's very spicy, but very fragrant. Fried fish. That's the spiciest fried fish mm. I've ever had in my life. Now, let me get some of this lamb rib real quick. Oh! Mm. Yo, honestly, this is the softest lamb I've ever had. It's so good. It's so much flavor. This meat here this, you is know some of the best. Shit. Some good shit. I want to say it's the best Indian like yeah. meat I've had. What? All right, you guys, rounding it out here, we've got the pig brain ceviche salad. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Pig, pig brain, brain salad. salad. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That's hey guys, mm. Pee Wee Cabeza. Right? That was the best thing I've ever had. These tiny little pig brains are tasty. I must say, I do like some pig brains. Mm -hmm. All right, so my favorite thing here at Domica was actually this pig brain ceviche. That was delicious. My favorite was the garlic and lamb stew. This is their premier dish. The garlic infused oil and sauce at the bottom is crazy. And for me, it was the goat belly. It's so much flavor and it's not too spicy. And the way the presentation was for it, it's unreal. It's cool to see people wanting to shift the idea of Indian food as just like, you take it out for $10 and you know, you kind of just eat it really quickly and don't think about it. Like the fact that he's so passionate about the flavors and about trying new things is super cool. And like, I think that's over time what you want to see happen to Indian culture in general. Yo, you guys, this was so dope because actually all the spots that we went to today, I'd never been to it. My whole mind opened up. I think seeing the range of Indian food from the cheap Indian street food cart to the grocery store deli to this new age regional cuisine, it was like, that's just a lot of expansion that my taste buds and mind had to do. So I thought that was very, very yeah. cool. And I hope that everybody else out there watching took something away from it. There's always something about every culture that you don't know. Yeah. You know, and like, there's always something that somebody else can teach you. And today was this. Today it's this, tomorrow yeah. it's something else. Yeah. And it's like, that's what traveling across this whole diaspora is gonna do. Yo, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Fun Bros Food. This was our India food crawl through Manhattan part two. Huge shout out to our guests, Jazz, Vivek, man. I appreciate Hell you yeah. guys. Find their Instagrams and social media down below. It is so dope to have your mind open in this way. It's fun, it's accessible. I recommend that everybody do it, especially in this time where obviously travel is scant. Everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. In the comments down below, let us know what you thought about the food and let us know if there's another regional cuisine that you want us to check out around New York City. A portion of the proceeds of this video are definitely going to go to the Indian COVID relief funds and also another portion is going to go to- To the farmers protest because without the farmers, the country has nothing. Yo, guys, thanks again. Yes, for sure, Shout out to Damaka. Shout out to NY Dosa, shout out to Punjab Grocery in Delhi. And until next time, we out. Peace. Everybody's a tough guy until it comes to the testicles. Yo guys, I gotta take a thumbs after this for sure.